Hello, everybody. I'm down here in the corner. Um, I can't see myself, so maybe I'm, maybe I am. Maybe it's just my voice. I'll find out after this video. Anyway, we're gonna do a what sold video. So um, let's uh, let's go over what sold. Um, now this is gonna be for the week of May twenty third to um, the twenty first or thirty first. Um, and it's going to be everything we sold. So you can see all the tabs um, going across the top of the screen there and probably get a pretty good idea of how long the video is going to be and uh, how much we sell. All right. Um, up first, we have a Caroline Heretta um, dotted uh, dress. And it really does not surprise me that this sold with this last week because we are coming up on the 4th of July and this is a very American dress. Uh, it's red, white, and blue. It's um, actually a really, really expensive dress. And here's a little little um, fun fact. Uh, there's a very famous person who was seen getting off an airplane wearing this exact, well, not this exact dress, but this, this dress. So um, see if you can find that. Um, and post the comments uh, if you know who it is. Um, I'm not going to say. <laughs> All right, moving on, we have a pair of Cassie sh mules. Um, these are open toed, and we've actually had these for a while. Um, and I think, I think I'll have to. This is our first what souls video so if there's a few kinks we'll uh, figure them out as we go but i think that these sold f as part of a bundle so i don't believe that that 150 is what they actually sold for um i don't know if that does that number change um i don't normally go back through these old uh things that sold um anyway this sold as part of a bundle along with the next couple of this is part of a three bundle so the next two items are also in that bundle um, all right, I should have scrolled all of these down. Um, so this was also part of that bundle, um, and it is an orange skirt. Now this is from the 100 box, um, so this, um, that 100 box we got sometime last month, and I know that my wife went over, she went over how much stuff that sold from it and what her profits were, and we've already paid for it, so, um, and we still have like a good chunk of that box left. So anything more we sell from that is pure profit, um, which I'm really happy about. And I'm really happy that this sold um, as well as this. Now this was also from that hundred box. Um, so it's, uh, it was a, yeah. So these last three items all sold to the same person um, as part of a bundle. And yeah, so those, that's definitely, um, we definitely did not sell the bundle for that much. Um, that was just the price that we had it listed as. Um, and you know, a lot of our prices are, we put them a little high and then we'll, we'll do offers, we'll do, um, we'll do discounts. So a lot of the prices that you see listed in our closet are a tad, they're, they're, they're full price, they're what we expect to get, but we're always willing to negotiate. All right, up next is this Spiri Gold shoe. And this one, I believe, this one we had a while. I think this is from one of our trips to the bins. Um, you know, Spiri's were really hot at the time on Poshmark, and this one took a while to sell because we do not go to the bins anymore. Um, it's just because our local bins is not, um, we didn't really find a whole lot of stuff that sold really well there. So, we stopped going. Instead, we just go to uh, the some local thrift stores that have dollar days and get our stuff there. Um, anyway, these sold for eighteen dollars. Um, I don't, and I mean they came from the bins, so we probably only paid a couple cents for them, maybe a buck at the most. So, a lot of a lot of profit. And then once you take out the uh, roughly twenty percent for the posh fees and five dollars for the shipping, uh, yeah, we made about ten bucks off these shoes. So pretty good, pretty good profit for something that we invested almost nothing in. 
All right. Up next, we have this torrid, um, this torrid dress or skirt. Sorry. And this I know was from the. Um, oh no, these are shorts. Yeah. Anyway, this I know is from the hundred box, and that hundred box, um, or it was a hundred and ten, and it was six hundred dollars um, for a hundred and ten pieces of inventory. So, a little under, little under six bucks for each piece. Um, so once you take that away from the sixteen and posh fees, and we, we only made. Um, about four, maybe five bucks off this. Um, still, it adds up. Never going to complain about making a little bit of money. All right. Up next, we have these um, these polka dotted shoes, these loafers. And these came from a, I believe this was a thread up shoe box. Um, so we probably paid about $40 for it. Um, yeah, I'd say we probably paid 40 or $50 for it, and it had about 20 pairs of shoes in it. So we'll say we paid $2 for these shoes, maybe $3. We'll bump it up to $3. Um, so once you take once you take away the uh, another 20% for the posh fees there, so about $5, $6 off, and then, yeah, we made about, we made about 16 bucks off these shoes. So, um, and shoes... Um, ever since we got the photo booth, they're really, really easy for me to shoot. So not a lot of work went into it and we made $16. So very, very happy about that. Um, up next is this, um, new with tags, free people, um, bodysuit. Now you'll notice that this is a black background. So it is probably from the, uh, this might be from the hundred box or it might be from the white um it's probably from the white um reshoots box anyway um assuming let's assume it is from the hundred box that'd be six dollars and then you're gonna get tired of hearing me break this down it's probably made about 10 bucks off this so 10 bucks off this and um it was pretty easy to shoot and since since we got the photo booth, we don't really do a whole lot of editing to the photos to really touch them up and make them look nice, so not a lot of work. Ten bucks. Okay, up next we have another bodysuit, and I'm now seeing that these uh, things are not leotards, they're called bodysuits. So I'm going to have to remember that for my, um, for my haul videos. Anyway, um, see... This I know came from the hundred box, um, as was a lot of the things that sold. Um, that hundred box has worked out very, very well for us. Um, so we'll probably get another one of those um, in the either next month or maybe this month. Um, and probably by the time this comes, oh wait, no, this will uh, never mind. We'll probably get another one of those real soon. Um, anyway, this um, probably made um, six or seven bucks off this. All right. Up next, we have this um, Marushk knit cardigan, and this um, I believe was from a reseller box. And this one item, uh, the profits from this was enough to pay for the entire reseller box. So um, I think we ended. I think we paid around like forty dollars for that reseller box, and it had like about five items in it. Uh, five or. Six maybe only four items in it. So assuming that we paid about 10 bucks for this, um, and then the 20% for the posh fees and $5 for the shipping. Um, so let me do some quick, quick math here. Um, 14, uh, $15. So yeah, roughly, um, roughly $55. No, wait, the, Roughly forty-five dollars in profit off this, um, and you'll also notice, actually, that it might not have been because this could have sold in a bundle. Um, I separated out all the items um, individually, um, so can't see what sold in a bundle. Um, I don't think this was part of a bundle. Yeah, so pretty good sale there, um, and like I said, it did pay for the entire box. Um, so, yeah, 
happy about that. Oh, and I hit the wrong button. Okay. Up next, we have a pair of Lucky Brand sandals. Now, these were from a Thread Up shoe box. Uh, so, assuming we paid about two to three dollars, um, we'll just say we'll just say three dollars, and then another um, another four dollars for the posh fees and the five dollars for the shipping that they take out of that. And all in all, we made um, yeah about twelve yeah about twelve bucks off this. Um, and like I like I said earlier, the shoes are really easy for me to shoot, so not a lot of work for twelve bucks. Okay, um, up next, uh, this I know was part of a bundle. Uh, so this came from our last Dollar Day haul, which we did uh, before everything closed down. Um, so this piece was only a dollar, and it did sell as part of a bundle with either this or the. Yeah, it sold as part of a bundle with this. Um, so I don't know how much this bundle actually sold for, um, but I might have to go back and check the sales because maybe this maybe it was with, in a bundle with those shoes. Yeah. Well, this is our first um, this is our first what sold video, so it's a learning experience. Anyway, um, yeah, those sold. <laughs> Moving right along. This, I know, was part of a bundle. Um, this is part of a bundle with the next three items. So this bundled with this, this, and this. And I know that this came from our VA, um, with the VA inventory box. Uh, so it was something that, um, it was something that my wife didn't want to get rid of. Uh, she thought it was really comfortable. Um, but, you know, it, <laughs> if it sells, we're gonna, we're gonna, we're gonna ship it, so. And I know the Uggs, and <laughs> the thing, if we'll, we'll go back, um, uh, I know these Uggs were actually, um, they actually were an item that my wife had, had thought about keeping, and she had set aside, um, but then, you know, she, she had set us, she had set them aside, but then she got a pair of Uggs for Christmas from her, well, from my sister-in-law, her sister-in-law. And um, so she decided to uh, sell these, and we now finally sold them along with that. All right, and up next we have this Nilan silk button-up shirt. Um, this, this was also from the, I think this was from the 100 box. So um, if this wasn't part of a bundle... That was a very good profit um, from from this item, and yeah, I remember this was the hundred box. So um, yeah, very 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 happy about that, and uh, I really I really hope that that price right there is the actual price it sold for, and isn't just what we had it listed as when it sold, because I'm gonna look really really dumb um, if it's not. And of course, this could be part of a bundle, so <laughs> I could look dumb anyway. Um, ah, this. Now I know this was part of a bundle, so oh boy, yeah, this was part of a bundle. Um, I think this was from a reseller box, so maybe. So I'm not entirely sure on what the profit was from it because it was part of a bundle. Um, so I really need to plan this out better. All right, up next is this. Now this was from our white reshoot um, box, which I don't think has gone up yet. So um, look forward to that. Um, actually, now this did I reshoot that? Shoot. This was going to be in our white reshoots video, but it sold. So now it's going to just be in our what sold video. Um, anyway, I know, I think this was also part of that bundle. So I'm not really sure how much money we made from all of this. Um, next time I decide to do one of these, I'm going to get my wife involved and have her actually um, run the calculations because she, she does a lot better job at keeping track of where everything came from and what we paid for it than I do. All right, up next we have this. 
Patagoda tank top. Um, now this had the uh, knot in the back. Um, let me see if I can. There it is. Now this is actually from a. This is from a more recent um, reseller box. So um, I don't know if that video has even gone out yet, or if it. Well, I mean, it, this sold, so it's not going to be in there when I film it. Yeah. Um, anyway, um, this is from a reseller box, so it was. Normally, we pay around forty dollars for those reseller boxes, and then. Um, yeah, so this paid for about half of that reseller box, and it probably had about six or seven items in it. Um, so, very, very happy about that. Um, although this could have been a consignment store box, which normally would pay a little bit more for those, so... Yeah, maybe it didn't pay for most of it. It definitely, definitely made money, though. Definitely um, made money um, overall. All right, moving right along. We have a pair of Not Your Daughter's white skinny jeans. Uh, now these have been around for a while. Um, I think they came from a, I think they came from an thread up box, or maybe they're from a haul. Um, you know, a lot of the Not Your Daughter stuff we found in, we found at the thrift store, but. Um, Given that they're a pair of white jeans, we normally don't pick those up. So I have a feeling they're from a thread up box. Anyway, um, if it's a thread up box, it probably was around $40. So $40 for 25 items. Yeah, um, we made about, I'm going to say $16 on these. So pretty happy about that. And as you see, these are. These are definitely an older pair because you'll notice that they still have from when I was hanging stuff on the wall. All right, up next we have this oversized corduroy um, shirt. And this was from, um, this was not from the 100 box, but it was from a, you know, I think this was from an old thread up box because just because of where it was when I got it out of our inventory um, so I think it was from an old thread up box so you can see the that we sold it for $22 given the average price per item in thread up box we probably paid around four to five dollars for it um, so again around fifteen sixteen dollars profit um, you know I could do better math but I didn't, I just wanted to do it. I just wanted to try, try what sold video. So, um, this has taken quite a while to record. So we're going to speed ourselves up. Okay. Up next is a Zara lace bodysuit. And this was from the, um, hundred box. So roughly $6 for the, paid roughly $6 for it. Um, and once you take away posh fees and the, uh, shipping, um, yeah, about $15, about fourteen dollars profit. Okay, um, this uh, Zara snake print was, I think it was also that same hundred box. Although I might be mistaken on this one, I might be mistaken on this. Um, anyway, roughly paid roughly six dollars for it uh, with posh fees and everything. And I made about $7 off this. Okay. And up next is this Lynn Laundry um, linen utility dress. And this, um, this I want to say was a thread up box. Um, maybe, I don't know. We've had this for a while. So it did finally sell. Um, so I really can't say what we paid for it. But I know it was less than, um, well, let's just take out the posh fees and the, I know it was less than $16. So we definitely made a profit off this. 
And up next are a pair of Sam Edelton shoes. Now, I think we got these at um, Dollar Days, but I don't believe we paid a dollar for them. So we probably paid around $6 for them. That's typically the price of uh, non-Dollar Day shoes from uh, the Goodwill we go to. So not as much profit off them, but um, still pretty, pretty good, uh, about 10 bucks. Okay, up next is a Free People um, scrunchy sleeve. And I'm actually really surprised this sold as fast as it did. Uh, this was also from the 100 box. Uh, but with, you can see the sleeves there. Um, they just didn't look really good on the mannequin. So I was really surprised that they sold so quickly. Um, but, you know, that, that price point right there, um, $16 profit. Okay, up next is a pair of Fly London um, wedges. Now these did come from a uh, reseller box, uh, all shoe reseller box. So um, I'm not sure how much we would have paid for that. Probably around $50, I want to say, but I can't say for sure. So we probably made around $20 off these shoes. Um, not quite enough to pay for the whole box, but, you know, enough to make a pretty good dent in it. And I think the other shoes from that box have also sold, so it's already been paid for. Okay, up next is this J. Crew Open Slit um, Tank Top. Now this was from the 100 box, um, so I, so we paid about six bucks for it. And then with shipping and everything, um, didn't make a whole lot from this, but it was, didn't really expect to. Um, it was one of the, it was one of the um, not as nice pieces from the 100 box. Uh, we still did make some profit from it and I mean, we at least broke even, um, only like probably only two bucks profit. So I'll take it. All right, up next are these Prada shoes. Now, I remember we got these, we found these. We could not believe we found these. They were $8 at the local Goodwill, and we sold them for $50. Um, so, yeah, we made, we only made about, like, probably only $40. Um, not even $40, only like $30 on these shoes. But um, they definitely brought a lot of attention to the closet, so... However, um, I don't really know that there's a way to measure that. Uh, I'm very happy, and if we see them, we will definitely get them again. Um, they did take a little longer than I expected to sell, um, so maybe that's why uh, maybe that's why we took, ended up taking 50 for them. Um, 